going to have him get up and propose because it looks like the whole family seems to be staying here. So, oh no, no, King Henry, don't miss this, come back. rainbows and welcome back to a exciting episode of the royal family in this episode we're going to be doing a few different things we're going to be having a celebration event for the now queen of sulani which is leilana and then hopefully jabari and amira will be engaged at the end of this episode too because jabari is planning on proposing to amira so we are at the royal palace of sulani and it actually looks like our royal sulani family is still a little bit sad there's so getting over the death of King Mahaka. If you guys saw in the last episode, Leilana was feeling confident that she is the queen. I think she's been pretty prepared for this. Someone in the last episode said they hope that Leilana is not going to be as much of a stickler and like as traditional, which I don't think she will be. She's probably going to start implementing some new things pretty soon. So we will get to see that happen. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and plan this little celebration event. The traditions here are a little bit different for Sulani. They do not have like the same coronation ceremony that Winberg and Willow Creek and all of them do. Theirs is more just like a kava celebration, just having their friends and family, of course. Oh my gosh. And then here we have King Mahaka's mother, Kayala. She is still alive and I don't know why. Someone was saying that if they are really fit and really active, then really fit Sims, apparently they live a lot longer, but she's just lived for so long. Long. It's insane. She must have been extremely fit. For this event and for all events of Sulani, they're definitely a lot more casual. Like it looks like everyone showed up in their casual clothing, which is totally fine because I don't think they expect people to show up in all of their formal outfits and everything. I did play around with some of Leilana's outfits and actually the white that I chose, it looks a little bit more like a wedding dress, but it had like the gold in it, but I couldn't really find one that I loved. And I was actually looking up Polynesian queens and I looked at their outfits and they looked very similar to English dresses, like very fancy, like off the shoulder with like a lot of fabric. It was just that they were wearing Polynesian necklaces and jewelry and lots of flowers and lays and all of that. So I just still need to find a dress that I think will work for her. So it might take a little bit more time. So her outfit's probably gonna change, but I just thought for today and for this event, this is the outfit that we could go with. And then it looks like Makai's brother Kona is here and then Makai should also be coming too. And okay, so his his mother, I know that they weren't getting along, Makai and his mother. Oh, there's Makai, speaking of. So he was not getting along with his mother, but I think he is realizing after his uncle just passed away, King Mahaka. Oh yeah, but he's right behind her. Okay, so he's realizing that his mother doesn't have that much longer to live. So if she was trying to patch things up, and I mean, it's not like him and Amira ended up together anyway, but he kind of wanted to do his own thing. I think also his mother realized that she can't control his life, even though she really wanted to. So I think she is trying to apologize to Makai and Makai is forgiving her. So they're on speaking terms now. Makai's brother Kona, I don't know where he is now, but we, oh, there he is. Okay, his brother Kona, he's been dating Amira's cousin and Lady, C or not Lady Sadir, well, yeah, Lady Sadir's sister, Aurora, for a really long time, but they haven't gotten married yet. So I think they are going to be getting married very soon and they're probably going to be moving to Sulani and then Ezra, which is the oldest sister of the three out of Ezra, Aurora, and Sidira. She's already married and she actually has a kid and I haven't showed him to you guys yet. So I will, I'll show him to you guys at some point in this episode. I actually really need to start doing some matchmaking and baby making because I have a lot of Sims who are adults who are not married yet just because I haven't gotten the chance to actually like marry them and match them up and then make them have kids and everything. So I need to do that because Leilana's cousin, Leah, she is a able to get married soon. I have to figure out who she'd be good with. And then Corinne's older brother, Wyatt. I never got him married to anybody, so I really need to do that. You know what? I actually just looked it up and apparently it is tradition that was introduced by the islands, by Western missionaries. It says where it followed a centuries old tradition, Tonga rite involving the ritual drinking of kava by the new king. It just says king, not queen. But together with the receipt of dozens of cooked pigs and baskets of food. So that's what we're doing basically. That's the tradition that I'm following. And it works perfect because we have kava. I had them make pig, I'm pretty sure, or pork. I had them make pork adobo, which is pig. So I was actually pretty close. I was like, wow, maybe I should look this up. But then I looked it up and I was like, I was right. So this is the Sulani Palace. Whoa, whoa, okay. This is the Sulani Palace 
throne room. So I'm going to have Queen Leilana. She's going to grab a drink. Oh, whoa, it's like a secret room back here. I actually never realized this until now. But Leilana is now, okay, where are you going? Leilana is now drinking the kava and she is our queen, you guys. This is so exciting. I love having just like a celebration of things and staying positive. And obviously she misses her father. I think her father and her mother raised her really well. She was also an only child, but she's not spoiled at all. And she's just very confident and she is comfortable with herself and she knows what she's doing. So I just think her parents raised her really well. And then we have Amira here too. I played around with some of her outfits. I think she looks really pretty. I'm still trying to put her in less black clothing, but I just found this one and I thought it was beautiful. So I was like, she has to wear this. All right, but it is now like 5 a.m. So we should probably end this here. And here we have Samaria and Makana. I, oh gosh, okay, we can, sorry. We can see up Samaria's dress. I did not mean to do that. Anyway, the really cute brother and sister, they're here. Someone in the last episode also said that Samaria, if she had her father's tail, like that would be so cool. And I think she would, I think she'd have the red tail. I know it's really dark, but Leilana and Dean are now talking after everyone has gone home and they've said their goodbyes to everybody. And I just think Dean is talking to her and just congratulating her and saying how proud he is of his wife and everything. He's a really good father and a really good husband. And I know he messed up with his sister and everything, who by the way, they still haven't found yet. So I'm sure we will hopefully see them in another episode. So we are about to go to Prince Jabari so he can plan his proposal for Amira, but I do want to show you really quickly. Oh gosh, she's wearing this little like hoodie thing. It's adorable. So this is Lord Winston, which is Ezra and Derek, or Jaden, sorry. Wait, oh, who's Derek? Is Derek his brother? Derek is not his brother. Who am I thinking of that's named Derek? Anyway, she's married to Lord Jaden. Definitely thought his name was Derek, so that's awkward. But yes, they have a kid. His name is Lord Win. Oh, oh my God, I just realized. Princess Anna's husband just died. I never realized that until now. Well, Anna's the one who carries the title of Marchioness, so her daughter doesn't actually get that name now that her father has passed away. But I didn't realize that until now, so that's sad. She should be cha she should be an elder by now. She was a good amount younger, I think, than Cora and Henry, but I don't think she was that much younger than King Hor or King Henry and Queen Cora. Before we get to the proposal, I'm just kind of like thinking out loud and telling you guys some like little story things that I think. I think because Bellatrix, she was, I mean, she, as a kid, she was always so active and she's still very active now. She's actually really muscular and really built. I feel like she might have an interest to join the military, which I think would be really cool. I mean, she wouldn't be able to do that until she's a young adult anyway, but I just think that would be really cool. I just wanted to point that out. I also think, because we haven't seen the Oasis Springs royal family in a while, I think they are. Oh, wow, they're still on vacation. They're still gone. They are just like having their relaxing moment. But I do have someone in mind for Arya, and I don't think the Oasis Springs royal family, I don't know, Naya doesn't seem like the type to to be interested in like making sure that our kids are an arranged marriage and all that. But I don't know, cause technically I guess her and Phillips was an arranged marriage. And then Naya's parents was an arranged marriage too. But like that didn't turn out well at all because her father had a ton of affairs. But Naya and Philip love each other so much. They're one of my favorite couples. But anyway, I have someone in mind for her who is not a prince, but he is from a noble family. So I will show you guys them in the future. You guys will get to meet them soon. But we are now at the Selva Dorada Royal Palace. Actually, I think this is one of the only times that we've played from the Selva Dorada family, but I wanted to do this because I want Jabari to propose to Amira and I'm so excited. So I did mention in the last episode that it looked like King Henry didn't have that much longer to live, but then I thought about it and I realized because he, or I play on the long lifespan. So even though it looked like there wasn't that much longer, it's actually still a quite like a good amount of time that he has, but I still still want Jabari and Amira to get, oh, I forgot that Prince Adric. I need to change this outfit, so I'll do that soon. But yeah, I still want Jabari to propose to Amira because I just want them to get married. I do, is he going in the telescope? Okay, that's fine. But I do think that maybe Azara has still been trying to talk to Jabari because he asked, or she asked Jabari if they could be friends and she's been trying to contact him, but he is not letting her or like talking to her at all, really. I think just because he's focused 
focused on this proposal right now and he doesn't want his Zara to mess with his head or anything like that. I think he's gonna wait till after he proposes to talk to her. I think he is going to tell her that he will be friends with her just because they have such a history and we know that she can do a lot of damage, but I don't think Jabari like quite realizes that yet. But I think that he's smart enough to realize that he should wait until he proposes to Amira until he talks to Azara again. But I am going to have Jabari go to Windenburg because I think that Jabari knows how much family means to Amira. So I think that he wants to propose to her in front of her family. I actually already have Amira's wedding dress picked out and I'm so excited. And then I realized, I was like, oh my gosh, I still have her wearing black and like dark colors. You know what? I don't even care for her wedding. And I know like maybe I should go against tradition with her, but I'm obsessed with her wedding dress and it comes in white. So I'm going to be letting her wear white for her wedding. You know what? I'm actually wondering if I should just plan a small event with her family. So, oh wait, plan social event. I can't plan a social event if I'm not greeted. Well, okay. All right. He has been greeted. So I think I'm going to just plan like a small, I guess, breakfast slash lunch slash brunch party. Okay. So we have most of Amira's more just like closer family here, like her aunts and her brothers and sisters and her father, obviously, and everyone. So I, oh, you know what? I don't know if Kellen's here. I hope he's here. All right. Kellen's here. I just transported him here. So now everyone, all of the important people are here. All right. So for our little brunch, we have almond macaroons, which I think is adorable. What is this little package thing on here? Oh, someone was making fried tilapia. Okay. All right. And Jabari is talking to Amira and, oh, it looks like people are sad. I, I'm pretty sure it's because they knew King Mahaka. I think that might be what the moodlets they have are. Okay. So Jabari has asked Amira's family to gather in this room. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the whole family to stay here, but I'm certainly going to try. All right, Jabari is sitting next to Amira now. I'm going to have him get up and propose because it looks like the whole family seems to be staying here. So, oh no, no, King Henry, don't miss this. Come back. I do really love that Jabari knows how much family means to Amira and that he's like totally on board with that. And he's a pretty close to her family too, because that was also really important is that whoever she marries loves Windenburg as much as she does, loves her kingdom and her family as much as she does. So I think Jabari is really good for her because he's all about family too. And Amira really loves his brother and his nephews and his sister-in-law too. So I think that they're all going to get along really well. I do think that Amira probably should spend a little bit more time in Selva Dorada with Jabari's family just to kind of get close to them and get to know them a little bit more. So I'm sure she'll do that as well. So Jabari is now proposing to Amira in front of her whole family, you guys. Oh, this is so sweet. Oh my gosh. So they are now officially engaged. I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so excited for their wedding. Oh my gosh, I have to figure out their wedding. It probably is going to be in a few episodes just because I need to prepare for it. But they're going to get married and they're going to have kids. And then Amira, I can see her have a child. I'm so excited for their child. Their children are going to be beautiful. But I'm just excited because I think that King Henry is going to be able to come to her wedding. I really hope he gets to stick around for her child so he can see another grandchildren of his. But yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. So in the next episode, we'll get to, of course, see Amira and Jabari planning for their wedding, and then we'll get to pay attention to some of the other royals as well. So we'll do all that in the next episode. But if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!